Hello guys, I welcome you all on this wonderful platform that is Byju's exam prep. So as you know, gate results are over and now we are going with the success stories of the students which are going to help you in your preparation journey because whatever hurdles, whatever problems the students faced in the journey, if you are getting to know about that in advance, you can prepare yourself according to that. So guys, for proper guidance of those, we are having these success stories. So today there is a very special session because we have a special guest with us. Uh, his name is Ghansham, who secured AIR 6 in mechanical engineering. So first of all, congratulations, Ghansham. Thank you very much, sir. So uh, Ghansham, I would like you, first of all, please introduce yourself, tell something about you to the students so that they get to know about you. Right. Um, uh, so my name is uh, Ghansham and uh, I was uh, born in Vardha, which is near Nagpur in Maharashtra, born and brought up in Maharashtra itself. Uh, did my 11th and 12th from uh, uh, Nagpur, studied in uh, mechanical engineering with Spilani Goa campus uh, from 2016 to 2020. Then I got a campus placement and uh, did uh, I was working in an IT firm for two and a half years. And uh, um, I, I thought after then, I wanted to prepare for GATE so that I could do higher studies. Since I have done mechanical engineering, uh, I wanted to do higher studies in that particular, uh, uh, in the respective field. And for that, I started preparation for GATE. And uh, this year, I cleared the exam. Great. So uh, generally, students, when they are starting their preparation, some are doing in the like uh, BTEC. So uh, were you not aware about that or uh, after some time you realize that you have to go to something like higher studies or PSUs? So what motivated you for the gate actually? Right. So uh, when I was in my college, there was no plan to uh, specifically to go for higher studies. I initially wanted to experience the corporate world and uh, how, the, uh, how does a job look like, right? And I did that for two and a half years. But then after that, I felt that uh, uh, I should uh, really uh, go for higher studies because my interest was always there in uh, towards mechanical engineering or the research side. right? And that is why uh, I chose that, OK, I'll prepare for GATE and go for higher studies. OK. So uh, I would like to ask, like, whenever we are going to prepare for any competitive exam, so it is always said that previous year's question plays an important role. So what do you think about that? Uh, did PYQs help you or not? That is, uh, I think, absolutely true because uh, uh, PYQs give, will give you the more, much more idea about what insight into the mind of the person who is preparing uh, the gate exam right who is setting the paper right and based on that you will get to know what types of tricky question he can ask right and what concept the the person is interested in right for uh, each and every subject so i think if you are preparing for a competitive exam pyqs are a must and that should be your first priority for any type of competitive exam great so uh, definitely whenever like we are studying, there are some favorites ones also. Like even when we prepared for IITJ, you must have seen majority students uh, who are going to the field of engineering, they are having a problem with chemistry. Right. And they have love towards mathematics and physics. So likewise for GATE, uh, what were your favorite ones? Or you can say the strong areas and what are you the what were your weakest areas? Right. So uh, my... my... The subjects which I liked the most were fluid mechanics, heat transfer, and thermodynamics. So these were my uh, area of interest from uh, bachelor's degree itself. I liked these subjects in my bachelor's as well. And that was the case over here as well. During preparation, I knew that I would be able to solve questions uh, from those subjects. And uh, it was easier for me to uh, read through the notes and understand the concept for those particular subjects. Thermal was your favorite. Yes. Okay. So I would also like to ask, like, uh, there is a uh, thing known as short notes. Generally, students are getting confused about that. And right. 
I also have seen uh, different students have different strategy and every strategy may not suit well to everyone. So what was your strategy related to short notes? Have you made it or you have just followed the class notes, whatever you were having throughout your preparation journey? No, I think uh, short notes are an absolute must. Those who are preparing for competitive, they should make it. And the idea behind short notes is that once you have covered a particular uh, subject syllabus from a particular subject, uh, the idea behind that is uh, the, uh, there will always be things that you know that uh, you know that you won't forget those things, right? But there will always be some kind of uh, topic which you know you can forget easily if you don't continuously read it, right? So the idea behind short notes is you write down those particular things in short form and exclude those things which you are sure that you won't forget. Or uh, even if in sleep someone asks you a question from a particular topic, you can solve. You have to exclude those particular topics from your short notes and write down those topics which you are uh, you tend to forget a lot. So that whenever you revise it, uh, it will take a, sh a shorter amount of time to go through it. And uh, you, you can keep revising it. And this will uh, cover much more uh, of your syllabus in the long time. Great. Uh, there is one more thing like uh, when we are talking about gate examination, it is not like a one night examination uh, like we are studying in the colleges. It is a journey actually. So when it is a journey, so uh, definitely during the journey of preparation as it is study we have to do. Uh, it is not a game where we will always be motivated in general. So obviously every student feel demotivated at some stage of your preparation. You also must have faced these things. So how you stayed motiva uh, motivated uh, throughout the journey? Right. So for me, what worked was uh, I had to always remind myself uh, what my target was. Uh, what is the reason I am doing it for, right? And uh, another, uh, so I knew I left a, a good paying job for uh, uh, doing higher studies, right? So that was itself that in itself acted as a motivator for me so you have to always find a reason for why you are doing what you are doing and that in itself uh, will act as a motivator for you so whenever you feel demotivated and not feel like doing anything you just have to uh, look at what what you wanted to achieve and if if you are not doing anything whether you'll be able to achieve that or not great uh one more thing, ki, uh, like uh, what you suggest to the student, like you have done uh, after the BTEC, that is a separate case. But what you will say or suggest to the students of BTEC, what should be the right time to start the preparation of grade? I think uh, third year, uh, from, this, uh, from the start of third year, uh, one per a person can start preparing for the gate and uh, within a span of uh, one or two years, uh, I think they should be ready to give exam and uh, secure a good rank. It should be more than, the time should be more than enough uh, for a person to get a good rank in this. Great. So one more thing I would like to ask, uh, like test series plays a very important role. And uh, so obviously you also must have uh, given a lot of tests. So what was your strategy about that? And what do you feel ki how many tests should be given? Because that also uh, student to student matters. What was their strategy? So right. maybe so, your strategy helps some of the students. No, uh, in my preparation, test series played a very important role because uh, it, guys, it, it gives you an understanding of where you stand currently, right? And what topics or what, uh, what, uh, what kind of uh, other skills that you need to work on, for example, accuracy and uh, many more, uh, you need to work on, right? What are, where are you lacking? So test series is something that gives you an idea about where you are lacking, right? And I, for my preparation, I, ha I must have given around 90 to 95 uh, uh, tests to, uh, uh, before the gate examination, right? It include it, it includes 15 to 17 uh, three hour mock test and then some topic wise and some uh, subject subject related tests right so test series played a very important role in getting the success that i've achieved great uh, one more thing i would like to ask the revision also plays important role because when you have given 10 to 15 full length tests 
obviously you must have revised the thing because uh, we have a wonderful memory but that is also having a feature that we forget with the time uh, that also there is a forgetting curve made for that so uh, how many revisions you feel uh, throughout the journey you have to do so that you can perform in the exam so uh, you have, one needs to revise uh, those subjects for 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 example uh, i'll i'll talk about myself in my case uh, fluid uh, heat transfer and thermodynamics uh, i'm naturally good at i was good at it right so i had to perform less number of revision on those particular sub subject as compared to other subject for example for production manufacturing and uh, uh, machine design for these particular subject i performed a lot more uh, revision as compared to uh, the subject so first thing would be to identify the subjects in which you need to perform more revision and another thing is uh, uh once you are done with a subject right uh maybe 10 to 15 days after that perform a full revision and by and also solving problem while performing revision right same solved examples and all of that then one 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 and a half month after that perform another revision right and then uh, at the end like one month before exam whatever short notes that you have preferred uh, i would suggest every alternate day you should uh, pe perform revision on this particular short great so uh, this is the entire journeys uh, things you have given so mm -hmm. i would also like to ask like you have given your motivation was that you have already left the job so you have to go for some that like whenever we are feeling demotivated what are the other ways you feel ki for motivation a student can do so that once again he can restart because i have even uh, seen many students who started preparing they go well till august september and after that they start demotivating they are feeling ki i will not be able to do, to do this year and then even sometimes they left the preparation and they are just going ki i will give it for the next year they just give up so what kind of thing you can do if such kind of situations are coming okay um so i would suggest in that particular case uh, is uh, again my my particular thing was uh, measuring rewards and uh, uh, look at the consequences about that right uh, i left the job and if i don't get a good rank or good marks in gate what will be the consequences i will i, I will face right so it's all about consequences right it doesn't <laughs> yeah. so actually actually i would like to say every student have its uh, different prospect like right. in your case you have made that thing uh, ki i have to do because of that but maybe some student if they will be thinking this is my drop year if i did not do anything i have <laughs> what i will do they may get even more pressure so that depends, right. you have taken it positively that's great right. Right. so uh, that's why i said ki every student have its own uh, strategy yes maybe some part of your strategy is helpful for some others but every and each and everything may not be so right. uh, guys uh, i feel you have seen uh, uh, the journey of gansham of scoring ir 6 uh, in mechanical engineering at the last i would like to ask one more question to complete this particular session ki what are your uh, like you can say success mantras for the students who are going to appear for the next year what are the things you will uh, guide them that you need to do this if you won't get success right so one thing that i feel like uh whenever a person is going uh, i think test series play a very vital role in my success right but people hesitate to give test assuming that i haven't completed the syllabus i haven't completed uh, my revision and all of these things my point will be you are never 100% sure that you have completed the syllabus or you are never uh, 100% sure that you have com uh, completely revised whole syllabus right so just go for it and uh, don't worry about the result go for the test at least you will know where you are standing and what you need to work on otherwise people just uh, delay 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 till the end of the exam and uh, they are uh, if if you don't uh, give uh, enough important to test series uh, i think that plays a pretty negative uh, told in your result so i think two months before the final exam you should start giving uh, a full length mock test 
and yeah that that would be my suggestion that don't wait on completing your revision or com uh, completely rereading your syllabus uh, just go for the mock test and then uh, okay. plan your steps ahead so guys uh, you can see in this journey of ganshab you may be learning a lot of things and you can also follow the things what ganshab website has strategy uh, so that next year you also become the part of these success stories so with this i would be saying goodbye for this particular session and we will be meeting for such more stories which will encourage you which will inspire you so that you can also do best in your preparation journey